kinship uh, journey started um, in February of 2019 um, when we got a call from Wake County uh, Child Protective Services um, stating that they had taken um, my niece into care and needed to place her in um, a safer environment. Um, and of course, you know, with her being my niece, uh, she's always been a part of our family. It was just very natural um, for us to say, of course, you know, she can come and stay here. As states, as legislators, we have to be able to support people who step up and who do tremendous work. So North and South Carolina both have adopted some policies and practices that speak to the importance of kinship caregivers. It's important for people to realize that, that word kin, um, how broadly we define it. Uh, you could be a pastor, you could be a teacher, you could be a coach. It's important for our children to have a caring, connected adult. We created a placement policy. It really does say you cannot place in a non-kin setting until you have shown exhaustive efforts of your search for kin and fictive kin options. We recently put into our policy manual um, com policy that complied with new state law that really directly specified that kin were the priority for children in foster care. Since we're kinship caregivers, and if we had not become licensed foster parents, we get no, you know, it's not, it's not cheap raising a kid. I can only imagine what it would be like to take multiple infants that were say grandchildren or your family and the cost that that is to a kinship caregiver when there's no funding. If I had three wishes, one would be that there wouldn't be any financial barriers to being a kinship caregiver. Two is the subsidized guardianship program so that we're able to uh, provide ongoing uh, uh, financial assistance without a child having to be in the foster care system. And the third one would be really robust kinship support wraparound services. We started um, the, the kinship licensing work um, back in March of 2019. And at that time we had 6% of our children and youth who were in kinship care. And today we have 18.6% of children and youth in kinship care. So my wishes for kinship care families would be a specific license and North Carolina is considering that for kinship care families. The other would be um, that social workers would really have the time to really help resolve the conflicts between kinship care families and the parents of children. When you look at where children live in North Carolina, 25% of all children live with families and we certainly would like to increase that. One of the favorite pictures that our, our niece has is of Teresa and her when she was a, a baby, a, a small toddler, you know, kissing uh, yeah, when they were yeah. kids, nose to nose. And she actually had me, uh, our uh, niece actually had me blow that up and give it to her as a Christmas gift a couple of years ago. Um, so those things, you know, are, are precious.